Hello guys, we continue exploring Laravel 9 and 10 versions, what's new in those latest versions. And topic of today is routing. I will show you four different improvements released over the last couple of years. And the first one was technically released in Laravel 8, but in one of the latest minor versions like 8.80 .8 or something, it's route controller. So historically there was route group, but if your group is actually the same controller, but not resource controller, just a few custom methods. Instead of doing this, so route group with the same controller repeating, now you can do route controller, repeat it once, and then inside you just get the URL and the method of that controller. So a bit shorter with custom controller methods. And that was submitted by Luke Downing from UK. And the next improvement to routing in Laravel 9 was by Jess Archer, core team member in late 2022, Route Singleton. It's a pretty edge case and I don't remember using it myself actually in the projects, but if you have the case of only edit, only one record, for example, profile is a typical example, user may have only one profile, so it's not has many relationship. There cannot be multiple profiles, so you can just get the profile, edit it, and update and destroy. So for those cases, you may use regular controllers listing all the methods. You may use route resource except some of the methods or you may use a new route singleton. The next improvement to routing in Laravel 9 is related to soft deletes and trashed eloquent methods. So Andrew Brown here submitted this pull request to add with trashed to route resource. With trashed is not a new function, but it existed only on the route get with route model binding, like for show method to get the record even if it's trashed. And now, since Laravel 9, you can add with trashed to all the controller, and for all the queries inside of that controller, it will get the records including soft deleted ones, or you may specify specific methods or one method that would use with trashed specifically. And the last improvement I wanted to mention in this video, Laravel 9, but probably the biggest one, Nuno Maduro, core team member, submitted for Laravel 9 in 2022, this visual update of route list command, which existed for as long as I remember Laravel, but it looked pretty ugly like this, depending on the size of your terminal and the amount of routes. After Nuno's work, it looks much more pretty and structured. So that's released in Laravel 9. And then on top of that, a few people improved it even more. So here in February, Amir Rami released a parameter except vendor. This is a pretty handy parameter if you want to show only your specific routes and not the ones from the packages. Or the other way around, Ash Allen here submitted only vendor if you want to look only at the packages routes. And then finally, the same Ash thought to add these numbers. So how many routes are in total? It's just a small kind of helping information, but may be useful for you to just evaluate the size of the project. You can run route list and see how many routes are there. Actually, this is one of the typical numbers how I judge quickly judge the size, the scope of the project. In my opinion, two things define bigger projects is the amount of eloquent models and the amount of routes or endpoints. So yeah, these are the features in Laravel 9 or 10 that were released around routing. What did I miss? Maybe you would add something else. I have a few more subtopics on that topic of what's new in Laravel. So subscribe to the channel to get a few more upcoming videos and beyond. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.